Hello, my name is Iman Malik and welcome to another episode of This Week in Digital Rights. A recently published article on Vice went into detail on Amazon's new robot called Astro, a $999 surveillance device that tracks you and anyone who enters your home. According to internal documents, which largely use Astro's internal codename Vesta for the device, give extensive insights into the robot's design and purpose. Buyers are asked to enroll their face and voice, as well as the faces and voices of anyone who's likely to be in the house, so Astro can distinguish between strangers and residents. If the robot detects something like a person it doesn't recognize, or a sound like glass breaking, or a fire alarm, it will investigate further and will record audio and video, automatically uploading it for the user to see later. However, the robot is far from perfect, or even competent. One developer said Astro is terrible and will almost certainly throw itself down a flight of stairs if presented with the opportunity. The source further said they're also pushing it as an accessibility device, but with the possibility that at any given moment it'll commit suicide on a flight of stairs. It's at best absurdist nonsense in marketing and at worst potentially dangerous for anyone who'd actually rely on it for accessibility purposes, the source said. Another source who worked on the project said, that it's a privacy nightmare. That is an indictment for our society and how we trade privacy for convenience with devices like Vesta. The source also corroborated that Astro's facial recognition abilities perform poorly. Other concerns from Amazon also came in as a Twitter user tweeted that Amazon prioritizes showing books that spread disinformation on COVID-19 and vaccines. Colina Koltai said, when you search COVID-19 on Amazon, the number one product is from known anti-vaxxer Dr. Mercola. Four out of the top eight items are either vaccine-opposed or linked to conspiratorial narratives about COVID. While many agree with this critique, other Twitter users pointed out that Amazon is only showing people the books that they're interested in buying. Chemist Derek tweeted in response, the Amazon stuff is infuriating, but the we'll get wise counselors to say which books can be sold solution is even worse, unfortunately. There have been previous allegations that Amazon's search and recommendation algorithms channel customers into consuming extremist misinformation. To these concern, Amazon spokesperson said, we provide our customers with access to a variety of viewpoints and our shopping and discovery tools are not designed to generate results oriented to a specific point of view. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.